Hi, my name's Claire. I'm a Sure Start Speech and Language Therapist. Welcome to Sensory Time. Sensory Time is a series of videos all about sensory play. Sensory play is a really good way to boost your baby's brain development in the first year. You don't need anything fancy. Items you find around the house can be used. Babies learn best by watching the people they love and they tune into the human voice above other sounds in their environment. So the best toy that your baby will ever have is you. So start by choosing a time when your baby is alert and ready to chat. Get your baby face to face and watch the messages that your baby is sending you. Even though your baby isn't using words yet, they're sending us messages all the time. They might smile, they might wriggle their body, they might babble, they might arch their back and frown or cry when they're not so happy. It's really important to tune into those messages and follow your baby's lead. So you might start by getting a smile. A smile? I see that smile. I see that smile. Or you might get some babble. Respond to that babble and copy your baby. A g -g -g -g. A g -g -g -g. A g -g -g your baby may start to copy you and you might get that lovely back and forth interaction which is so important for communication. Watching, waiting and responding to your baby really helps you follow your baby's lead which builds that secure attachment which is so important for learning. Another great game that you can play with your baby is anticipation games. So you might start by blowing raspberries. So you might blow raspberries on baby's hand. <gasps> Again? <gasps> Wait and watch for how your baby responds. Are they smiling? Do they wriggle their body? Do they laugh? Do they want you to do it again? 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 <gasps> Playing raspberries is also a really good opportunity to start to introduce those early words. So you can introduce those body parts like blowing raspberries on hand or blowing raspberries on toes. So you might go on your toes. On your toes. Watching and waiting and taking turns and letting your baby have um, their say in the interaction as well really helps build baby's turn taking skills which are so important for conversation as they get older. You might also want to use a shiny object with your um, baby. It just helps with tracking. Um, I've got just some shiny paper here and you can start by just giving it to baby, let them feel it, let them touch it, um, talk about the senses. So it might be, oh, that side's rough. This side's smooth, shiny. By letting your baby touch and hold the object, you're really encouraging them to use everything they have to find out about the thing they're playing with. You're letting them see it, you're letting them hear about it, and you're letting them touch it. You can also play an anticip anticipation game with baby um, with the, the shiny object. So you might go, oh, ready, steady, Ready, steady, wee. It's really important to look out for signs that your baby um, is enjoying it or that maybe your baby is starting to get tired and maybe just getting that little bit overstimulated. Babies really need lots of time to play and get attention, but they also need lots of time to rest as well. So if you're starting to see signs that your baby is maybe getting tired, maybe they're starting to arch their back or they're starting to just look away from the activity and it's harder to get their attention, 
that might be the time to start to help them wind down. So you might want to hold baby in tight, give them a little cuddle, give them a little sway, introduce rhythm to your baby. Um, they'll really love that gentle touch, which is so important for bonding. And you might want to help them just continue winding down by singing them a little lullaby. So that's really all from me. So remember, get face to face with your baby, follow your baby's lead and enjoy those special moments together. Bye.